Hello my soccer universe. I know I should have done this video sooner, but I honestly didn't find the right time and the right topic for it, so now we have it. Uh, late on Thursday, I think I just finished watching uh, Salzburg beating my beloved Lusk in the cup semi-final. I looked at my channel and I saw 100 subscribers. The goal is reached. Um, and let me say First of all, thank you for being my subscriber. If you're watching this video, I'm really, really appreciative. This is kind of the first big milestone that I set for myself and I'm so honored that I already found a hundred people. I know I'm not using any additional promotion or whatever. I do this very organically. That's how I want it. I want people to find me slowly and you know, word of mouth or whatever to go forward. I don't want to uh, put in this machine, but you know, this channel is for me. I need to talk a lot about soccer. I'm trying to find uh, my time through this channel to do it. And yeah, I have some exciting things planned. And again, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you're not, consider subscribing. I think there's a lot of fun content on there. Um, I have to say my favorite part uh, of this channel is when I get subscribers um, dropping comments below that I can respond to, which frequently happens on national team stuff. Oh, we have not doing a lot of national team stuff lately because there has not been much. Anyway, um, I wanted to make an unpacking video, but no, uh, I have a future. I have two jerseys, I think, coming, but I, I don't feel they're very celebratory. Let's uh, let's celebrate with something else. I'm wearing for the first time, I think, on this channel my now original Nigeria jersey. I've been wearing Nigeria's jerseys uh, quite a bit, but they were always uh, it was always the fake that I got uh, last April. Now I have the real one gotta be shown and as you know it's a Nike jersey and it was probably the Nike jersey the most talk about Nike jersey in 2018 and this is where I'm gonna in um, we have now most Nike jerseys if they have not been released yet they have at least leaked and let's look over those leaks uh, remember I made this video on the Euro 2020 jersey when Adidas and uh, Puma released the first ones and I was not happy. I have to say with Nike, I'm a little bit happier. There are a few Puma and other jerseys that came out, but I think they're not really worth all the talk because the Nike jerseys are the ones that are actually worth talking about. So let's go through them. Um, the Brazil jersey um, is the first one I want to look at and to be honest, uh, it looks like Brazil. I like the color with the uh, little bit pattern. Um, the crest is something I have to get used to. Yes, it's not that big of a departure, but what I don't like is that the yellow is going out like that. That's a little bit weird. Uh, the away jersey continues the pattern. I actually like it. It's a very pleasing feel to it. Not sure uh, if I like it better than what they had at the World Cup, but you know, um, I like that there's a little bit of gradient in this, so that makes it nice looking. Croatia, yeah, it's the basically same Croatia thing that we had at the World Cup. Um, I don't like the big checkers necessarily. I also find the call a little bit weird. And here we also see the big feature of the new Nike jerseys. This is this flash here. So uh, seemingly they figured out if you move and you have just this one band, this looks a little bit weird, but if you do it like that, it looks straighter. That has to be seen. To me, it looks very, very weird on the jersey. The away jersey is actually what I was almost expecting for the home jersey. It's a wild pattern, but it's black and we have with red. It actually looks better than I thought what they had at the World Cup, to be honest. Um, and that they go with this uh, change in the pattern, I think this also looks nice. Uh, but is it my favorite Croatia kit? No. I like my Croatia away jerseys in blue. Uh, we also see that the colors here at the Nike, this, the back side of the collar especially, those look weird. I have to say. Uh, and mostly on England. I mean, this England jersey, uh, this is almost your classic England kit. I'm not so sold on the centered crest, uh, although I know this happened. I think the inspiration here is the 98 jersey, but a very, uh, or maybe even uh, 80s jersey, but maybe a very, yeah, it's kind of, kind of a mixture, very plain version. Again, the color with this triangle that's open, I'm not so sure about. But I think the rest, it looks just fine. But this is not spectacular. 
either but i think overall the color palette is pleasing i if they have to just one say say one thing i think that the black or the uh, navy and um red from the color and the size does not match with the swoosh in any way this is kind of a little bit disconnect i also would say i like the world cup jersey a little bit better uh the away jersey for england that's a polo shirt with yeah there's a lion pattern on there it looks very much um special but it doesn't scream in england away jersey to me yes it should be red i know but even that one I'm, <laughs> yeah the inspiration is probably the 93 1993rd jersey not, not 93 jersey for that one not so sold about that one but i think it's all right dish but we see already there's a lot of variation and uh from what i hear nike is doing away with templates so that's why we get a lot of very special kits some work well some don't work as well one that I think works very well is the France jersey. I am so happy that we finally have red back on the jersey. Absolutely uh, happy with that. Clearly this red band reminds of 84, 98, 2000. That's what we uh, are reminded about here. It also mixes in this initial, the very popular design. I never was a fan of it. I think in 2012, but you know, this uh, horizontal bands over. I think I was one of the few, few people who really didn't like that one because it was just too stereotypical and looked weird. Here we have it now in dark blue and a little bit lighter blue. I think it's all right. I wonder if they should have, would have chosen, chosen just one chosen, just one blue. I think it might have looked better, but I, yeah, it is stylish. I think this is a, this jersey really works well. And I have to say, I even like the away jersey better because it doesn't have the flashes here on the side. Uh, it just has the band and it's plain, but a uh, French flag, there is something about it that I absolutely, it's boring as hell. I, I agree, but there's something I really like. This looks really, really, really classy. Um, Portugal could look great. If it wasn't for those sleeve cuffs on the side, I don't like all these colors on there. That looks weird. If this was just, if you had, I mean, and this will be worn with green pants, which is a look that I like. Uh, but I think the cuffs should be just one color. I know they try to get, uh, take these colors from the shield here, but that's something not working. But other than that, very classy looking Portugal shirt. Again, a polo shirt in, in a way. The away jersey is an abomination. Um, <laughs> this slight mint and then too many colors on there um not liking that one the netherlands do something special but i think it doesn't work first of all you know i like my netherlands jersey orange and white not with the black but i can live with the black but um it's a little bit too much then they have this grid pattern on there where there's a lion in it i love the idea i'm not so sure the execution has me all that convinced. I have to be absolutely honest with them. I'm, I'm gonna curious to wear with black pants, which I'm afraid they will, uh, or with white. <laughs> Could be, it's a so-and-so jersey, and I wanna see it with fonts. We haven't seen any fonts here either. The away jersey though, yeah, uh, black with orange. That actually looks better. I like uh, orange as an accent on black. That looks good. Uh, except on the Valencia jersey, but um, here it looks really good. Turkey, uh, I'm glad that they chose this one. I like the design. I like the huge moon on there. I think this is a very strong uh, jersey. It's not. I like the 2014 better. That's the one I want to have, but this is a really strong jersey. Um, the red one, yeah, do we need the two-tone red? Mm, maybe. Uh, not as great as the white one, I have to say. Um, China, we have the away jersey. I'm not don't want to say much about that one yet. Uh, swirly. I'm still so sad that we didn't get the dragon jersey. To be honest, um, the Finland home jersey. I love that one. Uh, that one I love. Um, maybe you could have inverted the color with the cross, but I absolutely love that they use the flag as an inspiration. Uh, it's a great jersey. That's absolutely a great, great jersey. That's actually probably pretty high on my list of jerseys that I want to get from this uh, one. The away jersey um, looks a little bit too ordinary. It looks a bit more like a rugby, rugby jersey. I'm not so sure about the color, uh, but the home jersey really hits it out of the park for me greece is all right uh you have the sash in there i don't know uh, i think it's probably inspired by the greek flag that uh the sash is first solid and then um kind of 
goes with these multiple lines uh, on the uh, I wager the white one it looks much much better um, yeah I think it's all right it's nothing spectacular either uh, Norway yeah goes in the same pattern I was actually expecting a little bit more I mean the Given what Finland was doing, I would expect Norway to do something similar. I liked it on the sides, they take a little bit of inspiration from the Norwegian flag, but I really liked it when they had just this band through the crest or something. Just this plain red is a tad boring, I have to say. Slovakia, um, <laughs> what are you doing here? That's a little bit too crazy for me because I don't see any connection to Slovakia. I love the huge crest. I'm not so sure that we need the Federation logo that uh, huge as well. I think they could do away with that one. It's a little bit on the borderline side. Slovenia. Yeah, you do the pattern. I think it's all right, but I really like the ones for last time around. Uh, the Chile home jersey, I think, is a mess. Honestly, I like that do something, but the white sleeves uh, turn me off and then the, it's a little bit too patterned. I think it's even crazier for the away jersey. That, I think, is too much. Um, but, you know, you got to see it in action. I'm not rating them yet. I really like the USA uh, home jersey. I know everyone wants to have the Waldo kit. I like the look of this one. Uh, it really looks nice. You've got to do something about the crest, though. I think use the one from the centenary kit uh the away jersey again a little bit too much pattern that i'm not sure what this should represent uh if this was more obvious i would be more happy about it uh but that way yeah and also the way the color goes on on, on the back there it just doesn't look quite right and now to the big one uh, i'm wearing nigeria the follow-up to this jersey actually looks also pretty cool i have to say lots of pattern but i I think it's a little bit too much, especially that on the bottom of the jersey, uh, the whole thing gets in a, into a different pattern. But overall, I like it that it's white and green. It's kind of something um, special and new. Uh, so that one to me is all right. Um, I think it's spectacular enough for an African kit. Absolutely uh, full go. The question is, does it beat this one? And I have to say, I needed to get used to that one too. I'm not so sure. It is a, although the pattern is crazier than this one. Well, let's discuss that. I find this one a little bit more orderly because it's like green and white. You have the Nigerian flag in there, and for that reason, I like it more. The away jersey uh, takes this pattern, puts it on the collar, but otherwise is uh, like dark gray. I would say. Looks all right, I think, but I think the most spectacular jersey is surely the home jersey again. And you know, now Nigeria, they that's Nike's cock calling card to get crazy, like Puma had with Cameroon in the early 2000s. And then the ones that I am not sold on at all are, are the Korea jerseys. First of all, I really hate the new crest, I mean, this is so stereotypically. Um, Messing up a crest with a tiger on there is a big thing, but this looks too stereotypically Asian to me. Uh, let's go the away jersey first because I actually like the tiger stripes. Um, that one I can, can, can get on board with, but what are they doing with the home jersey with all this pattern? Yes, this is the Taeguk symbols from the flag all stacked up, but it's pinkish and then go over. <sighs> don't like it. I don't like it. The away jersey, I think, is all right. And I want to finish with a kit from Europe that uh, was not in the original, but I uh, it just got leaked. Also, the Poland home shirt jerseys, uh, which have a very... <laughs> I don't know, with the center Poland dresses have a very 70s look. The swoosh on the one side doesn't quite fit, but I like the color. There's something about it that I like. I think this is a very classic Poland kit. Uh, and the away jersey, yeah, uh, that's a little bit boring. Again, has the very weird color on the back side. I think we have to get used to that. It looks probably worse in this picture than um, it will look in action. Well, to celebrate 100 subscribers. Meanwhile, it's a little bit more. I wanted to give you my thoughts on these uh, jerseys. As I said, I'm a little bit more happy on these ones. Nike kits, there's at least something. Not all of them are great, um, but there are 
honestly a bit better than what I saw from Adidas and uh, Puma so far. I saw already the Puma, the leaked Italy home jersey and I have to say I hope this is not it but I'm afraid it will be because it's just the green jersey in blue which seems a little bit mm, boring. Anyway, let me know what you thought about these new Nike jerseys. Um, again, thank you for being my subscriber. Please subscribe to my, to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will talk to you soon. Yeah, with some club stuff and maybe some new jerseys that will be coming. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!